It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from By The Horns Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Bastard Brag Black IPA coming in at 7.2% ABV. There's a look at the label. Pretty cool. There's the bottle cap. I like their bottle caps. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us by Imperial Beer Club dot com uh, check out their website or check out the link in the description box for a live link to their website cheers Whoa, look at this nice bit of smoke on the opening beer in the glass then I do like a black IPA it's a style that come around well for me I first started trying IPAs probably the back end of 2010, early part of 2011 and it's a style that's always stuck with me. I was always kind of mesmerised by that blackness but it, it tasted like an, a golden IPA. Well that's how they were, some now are uh, more or less hoppy stouts. So this one is a two finger tan coloured head, nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass, it's a jet black beer in the glass, let's get the aroma. Wow that smells really interesting. So yeah I'm picking up roasted malts and I'm picking up the hops but combined it's giving a flavour of almost like black currant, a black currant licorice, black currant licorice, them sweets you get, the hard boiled sweets, black currant licorice, most definitely. It smells really good, I'm interested to dive into this one just to see what we get. Cheers everyone. And in the taste, I'm getting blackcurrant and licorice uh, again in the taste. I'm trying in my mind to kind of force that flavour away. That blackcurrant licorice, I'm just really trying to move it to one side. Um, there is a little bit of roasted malt in there. It is, you do get a sense of it, and it's it's mixing and it's helping really helping with that kind of licorice flavour. Um, in terms of the hops, uh, there's a bitterness on the back end. It's piney. But here's the downside, it's a bit of a mess, it's, it really is, it, 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 it's a shame, I'm just trying to work out what this, what this, yes, it's a, it, they named it a black IPA. It's um, it's this not a lot. I'm enjoying about this, to be honest. Um, it's just not well constructed. It's not. There's no defining. There's no real sense of it being an IPA, and there's no real sense, if I'm honest that there's some roasted malt in here. I'm just wondering what they've done here. I'm just wondering how they've created this and, and how they can improve it in the future. It's a shame, I've had a lot of By The Horns Brewing Company's beers and they've all been really, really nice. This is the first one that I've had which I've gone, and this is the important thing, I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't bother, I just, it's just, they need to work on it, they need to do something, it's just, 
if you if you can imagine the black currant licorice sweets in your mind, then it's just this liquefied. Uh, right, what have we got here? The world's finest hops and the best British malted barley. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame. Let's rate it. So, by the way, Bastard Brag is a card game and this is Brew 333 which is apparently a significant number in the card game Bastard Brag. I've never played it. Um, ah, it's just... I'm really not liking it. I'm really not liking it at all. But it's a very poor 3 out of 10. It's a 3 out of 10 for Real Craft Beer. Um, maybe back to the drawing board with this beer. Maybe change the hops, maybe, I don't know, add less roasted malt, add more roasted malt, I, I don't know. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to work it out at uh, By The Horns Brewing Company. Thanks for watching, check out the beer if you want to from imperialbeerclub.co.uk or actually imperialbeerclub.com should I say. Um, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.